Okay, part three, the last one for the Hebrews thing. Um, I don't know if I said this, or I have said it, but I haven't said it in a while. When I go over these dreams and songs, it's not like consecutively in order each day, this is what it goes. It's just kind of like when I get the verses, I have to be like, oh, this was from this, and this was from that, and this was that. Okay, so it's like a big giant puzzle that I have to put together, which is what I love to do. So that's why God makes it so fun for me. Um, so starting off, this dream was from spring of 22, like when I first started having dreams, okay? And this dream, I was running in like, like it looks like a football field, right? Cause it was just grass and I was running, but I could see a chain link fence. And maybe on the other side would be like, you know, in a movie they have their practice field and they have like a track that goes around it. I haven't been in school a long time, so I don't know what, if they still look like that. Um, I don't recall seeing bleachers, but that's just what it felt like. But I was running kind of like at a diagonal toward these fences. Like I was gonna get through the fence and keep going. Um, and there were other people who were running ahead of me and some people who were running behind me because one girl or two people were passing me and one girl stopped in front of me. That caused me to stop. Because she turned around and she looked at me and she said to me, hey, I'm not supposed to interfere, but don't go back. And then she turned around and started running off and then I just kept on running. And then next I heard lyrics from a song called Like Crazy by Jimin of BTS and it says I'd rather be lost in the lights lost in the lights and then this next dream was around Easter of this year I was walking on a sidewalk um it was like if you think of like Rodeo Drive or something right that's so old in California but they had um like storefronts on each side of the road. So you walk on this side, there's stores. You walk on this side, there's stores. So that's what it was like. It was just like stores on this road. And I was on the sidewalk on one side, but I would jump with no problem from sidewalk across the road to the other sidewalk in like a zigzag pattern. And every time I would run, it would be like a bullet was trying to hit me, but it missed every time. And I was just like, happily jumping back and forth like no care in the world right um the next dream I was at Ross and I was looking Ross dress for less if you don't have a Ross if you don't know what I'm talking about it's like a discount store so I was at Ross and I was looking at these purses and these bags and I grab like this tiny bag and I'm like oh this is cute or whatever but then something catches my eye and I have to move all these bags out of the way and behind is like a camel colored bag which is like a tan right it's like a darker tan color I like bags that are that color sometimes so I saw it and I was like oh let me let me grab this bag but when I moved everything out of the way this bag was enormous okay it was huge it was the biggest bag ever and um I heard someone say okay it wasn't me I didn't say it and I didn't see anyone but I just heard it says if you want to buy a bag that costs hundreds of dollars you can and then immediately a song started playing and it was um from BTS the song is called mic drop and the song lyric it says did you see my bag did you see my bag it's hella trophies it's hella thick it just implies that there's like tons of trophies in that bag and it's stuffed with trophies okay and then I heard the lyrics, I don't want to go, go back again and run bulletproof run. Yeah, you got to run. And that's from a song called run BTS by BTS. And then I heard the phrase a shaking. And then I heard the phrase victory in Jesus. And then I heard from the song also mic drop by BTS and these the translation to english is bright lights going forward you thought i was gonna fail but i'm fine sorry keep on running and running another trophy my hands carry them too many that i can't even count them and then i heard the lyrics from 
a song by Jin of BTS called The Astronaut. And the lyric I heard from that song is, the only light found in darkness on my path to you. I heard Crown of Glory. And I think in part one, this could have went with that one too, but I put it with this group. And then I heard the lyrics from a song, which this was crazy because this was this, this morning. I had to go back and add this in because I woke up singing this song. I was like, I don't even know the lyrics to this song. Let me go read it and figure out why God has it on my head. It is called Loser Lover by a group called Tomorrow by Together or TXT. All I heard in my head was, I'm a loser, I'm a loser. That, that's part of the chorus. Because it goes, I'm a loser, I'm a lover, whatever. And I was like, all right, let me go figure out what these lyrics are. Because I've only heard that song like two or three times when it just comes up as a suggested song that just plays. I don't even... Obviously, I've heard it enough to get some lyrics stuck in my set in my head. So looking back this morning, the lyrics say run laugh like you've gone mad run never look back in my two hands life or this life is like a war i'm always the loser you're my savior and then these lyrics on the edge of the cliff your light leads me making me a winner and now i'm going to get into hebrews chapter 12 i'm going to read the whole thing it's not that long Therefore, since we are surrounded by such a cloud of witnesses, let us throw off everything that hinders and the sin that so easily entangles, and let us run with perseverance the race marked out for us, fixing our eyes on Jesus, the pioneer and perfecter, perfecter of faith. For the joy set before him, he endures the cross, scorning its shame, and sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. Consider him who endured such opposition from sinners so that you will not grow weary and lose heart. In your struggle against sin, you have not resisted to the point of shedding your blood. And have you completely forgotten this word of encouragement that addresses you as father addresses his son? It says, my son, do not make light of the Lord's discipline and do not lose heart when he rebukes you because the Lord disciplines the one he loves and he chasten, chastens, chastens? everyone he accepts as his son endure hardship as discipline god is treating you as his child for what children are not disciplined by their father if you are not disciplined and everyone undergoes discipline then you are not legitimate not true sons and daughters at all moreover we have all had human fathers who disciplined us and we respect them for it how much more should we submit to the father of spirits and live they disciplined us for a little while and now they thought best but God disciplines or let me read that again they discipline us for a little while while as they thought best but God disciplines us for our good in order that we may share in his holiness no discipline seems pleasant at the time but painful later on however it produces a harvest of righteousness and peace for those who have been trained by it this goes back to the lyrics where it talks about I'd rather be lost in the light because if you're following Christ and you maybe need his help, you need to lean on him, you need to ask for forgiveness, it's a security to know that God will help you through that or he'll show you what you're doing is incorrect. He disciplines you. But if you're not following Christ, you're disciplined in the darkness and that's just not where you want to be at all okay and then i'm at verse 12 therefore strengthen your feeble and weakness or therefore strengthen your feeble arms and weak knees make level paths for your feet so that the lame may not be disabled but rather healed make every effort to live in peace with everyone and to be holy without holiness no one will see the lord see to it that no one falls short of the grace of god and that no bitter root grows up to cause trouble and defile many see that no one is sexually immoral or is godless like esau who was a who for a single meal sold his inheritance inheritance rights as the oldest son i'm going to pause there because before if you look at the video I posted before Hebrews part one, I talk about Jacob and Esau. 
just like kind of their storyline but more focused on who Esau was and how he uh, sold his mill for an inheritance you'll learn about it there it says afterward as you know when he wanted to inherit this blessing he was rejected even though he sought the blessing with tears he could not change what he had done you have not come to a mountain that can be touched and that is burning with fire to darkness gloom and storm to a trumpet blast or to such a voice speaking words that those who heard it begged that no further word be spoken to them because they could not bear what was commanded. Even if an animal touches the mountain, it must be stoned to death. The sight was so terrifying that Moses said, I am trembling with fear. But you have come to Mount Zion, to the city of the living God, the heavenly Jerusalem. You have come to thousands upon thousands of angels in joyful assembly, to the church of the firstborn whose names are written in heaven. You have come to God, the judge of all, to the spirits of the righteous made perfect, to Jesus, the mediator of the new covenant, and to be and to the sprinkled blood that speaks a better word than the blood of Abel. See to it that you do not refuse him who speaks. If they did not escape when they refused if they did not escape when they refused him who warned them on earth, how much less will we if we turn away from him who warns us from, he from heaven? At that time, his voice shook the earth, but now he has promised once more, I will shake not only the earth, but also the heavens. The words once more indicate the removing of what can be shaken, that is created things, so that what cannot be shaken may remain therefore since we are receiving the kingdom that cannot be shaken let us be thankful and so worship god acceptably with reverence and awe for our god is a consuming fire so obviously this goes back to when i heard a shaking um there was something else i just read that i was going to reference Oh, um, all the times that I, when I read Joyful or whatever, um, I put this with the first grouping in Hebrews part one, which is why I'm wearing this Joyful shirt, because I was led to the word joy and joyful so many times. I just didn't really find a good place to put it, and I didn't want to keep repeating it, but it is mentioned in that video. It does apply to this uh, group of verses as well. The next verse I have is Deuteronomy um, chapter 8 verse 5 it says know then in your heart that as a man disciplines his son so the Lord God disciplines you and then 1 Corinthians 9 24 everyone who competes in the games goes into strict training they do it to get a crown that will not last but we do it to get a crown that will last forever and that goes to the crown of glory that I heard and then 2 Corinthians chapter 2 14 through 16 from the Amplified Classic Edition. But thanks be to God who in Christ always leads us in triumph as trophies of Christ's victory. And though and through us spreads and makes evident the, the fragrance of the knowledge of God everywhere. For we are the sweet fragrance of which Christ which exhales unto God, discernible alike among those who are being saved and among those who are perishing. So this goes back to all the bags of trophies, okay? And then Philippians 3, 14, I press on toward the goal to win the prize for which God has called me heavenward in Jesus Christ. Um, sorry, in Christ Jesus. So that's when I saw, I don't know if that was in this video or... Maybe it was in the second one also where I saw the word Christ with the clapping emoji on there. So that just emphasizes Christ. Um, and then the last verse I have is Hebrews chapter 13, 20 and 21. Now may the God of peace, who through the blood of the eternal covenant brought back from the dead our Lord Je Jesus, that such shepherd of the sheep equip you with everything good for doing his will and may he work in us what is pleasing to him through jesus christ to whom be glory forever and ever amen now that's all for the you know the dreams and the verses but i 
put something in here that I thought was relevant to this. Okay, so there was a song that I mentioned in one of these three videos, I think part two, of a song by Jungkook from BTS. It's called Closer to You. And these lyrics just stood out to me more so than some of the other ones, okay? And it says, uh, love me at my lowest. I'll love you when you're barely holding on. Lighting up the darkness, I can be a shoulder when you're not strong. Take you like my last breath. Took me, that's the first step. Feeling your warm embrace. The devil's always tempting, but who's gonna end the sentence? Push and pull to get closer. Restart again, negative and the positive, bringing us closer, closer to you. And I wrote this last night when I was typing this up, so I'm just gonna read it verbatim because if I try to just wing it right now, I'll mess it up. It says, Jesus took his last breath for you. And I urge you to cry out to Jesus for salvation because that is the first step. He loves you at your highest and lowest, your strongest and your weakest moments of your life. He loves you no matter what. His love holds no records. Restart each day, each hour, each minute, knowing that God's mercy and grace renews each day. Since the devil is always tempting, draw close to God and the devil will flee from you. And my last little thing, which I thought was so cute, was let Jesus be the end of your sentence. Okay, so always find the light. Until next time.